me. Praise me in advance. Praise me during the process. Then you'll praise me when you get the victory. Just continue to praise me. Amen. And don't let the enemy shut your mouth because that's exactly what he wants to do is shut your mouth to a praise because when you praise God, who does it bring on the scene? Brings God on the scene. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. So in Hebrews 11 verse 6, he brings God on the scene. He inhabits my praise. He takes a complete possession of my praise. Amen. How powerful is that? That God that is on the throne and in the heavens will come and just take residence in our temples, saints of God, and taking residence in our praise. Hebrews uh, chapter 11, verse 6. The word of God says, but without faith, it is impossible to please him. For he that comes to God must believe that he is, and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Amen. So we see here that without faith, it's impossible to please him. And for us to even come to God, we must believe that he is. When you pray, you must be believing that God even exists. Amen. Amen. You must, when you give your life, you are already believing that he exists. Amen. And so we must believe that he is before we can even come to him. And he rewards those that diligently seek after him. Hebrews, uh, same chapter, but verse 1. 